going to make bum pads. Bum pads are great for historical costuming. They give you that nice rounded shape that is very distinctive and immediately says to your audience, we're in a different time period. When we did Cinderella this past spring, we put all of our chorus members in bum pads to give them that nice characteristic historical look. The other thing that it did for us was give us a silhouette that helped us hide the transforming costumes that Ella wears. As you can imagine, it takes a lot of time and supplies to make bum pads for 30 or 40 cast members. After going through that experience, I came up with some ideas for making them quicker and easier and definitely more storable. This tutorial is going to give you some ideas for adapting your basic bump pad pattern so that you can make them quicker and easier. We use the simplicity pattern for our basic shape. If you don't want to purchase a pattern, you can probably go online and find a tutorial for how to size it and shape it. The bump pads that we made were completely filled and stuffed like this one that we used for Charlotte. You can see it's quite thick and padded, basically just like a pillow she wore around her waist and it's nice and shaped. The bump pad initially when I filled it was not nearly this full. I opened it up along this edge and I stuffed more in it. Once I was done with the show, I now had about 40 of these that I had to pack in boxes, which takes up a lot of space. What I came up with was an idea for making a stuffable bump pad with snaps. This way it is easy to adjust the amount of stuffing that you have in it, uh, make it to adjust the particular dress you have, and when you're done, you can easily take the stuffing out and wash it, and you can also nicely fold your bump pad up and pack them away until the next time you need them. How did I do this? Let's watch. First, we'll need to collect our supplies. I am going to use a pattern, Simplicity 8162. I traced the bump pad pattern out on a sack that I got from a store. I used one of the larger ones, I cut it open, lay it flat, and then trace the pattern. This way, I can use it for a long time without destroying my original pattern. Next, we need some sort of fabric. I am going to use a thrifted pillowcase. I like to add some trim around the edge of my bump pad, and today I am going to use the eyelet from an old curtain. We'll need something to tie the bump pad around our waist. You can use cord or some found fabric scraps. You will need some kind of snaps. I'm going to use cam snaps. You could also use sew-in snaps. I wouldn't use Velcro because it will catch in the stuffing. Last, we will need some stuffing. You can buy new stuffing. You can also use thrifted linens or even plastic sacks or tulle. Basically, anything that you have that you can stuff into your bum pad to make it poopy. First, we're going to fold our fabric in half and lay our pattern out on the fold. Next, cut out the pattern with a pinking shears. If you don't have a pinking shears, you may have to zigzag the edges to keep them from fraying. Mark the end of the stitching lines before you remove your pattern. I use a sharpie because the bum pad goes under your clothes. Who sees it? Stitch the sides of the bum pads together with wrong sides together. This is going to save us time as we won't need to clip all those curves, turn it inside out, and press before we move on. Stop stitching the side seams about 5 8 inch from the top edge. Add the stitching line to divide the section of the bum pad as directed on the pattern. Stitch on your trim. If your trim is a little bit too short to go all the way around, don't worry about it. Just start at the center back and stitch in one direction, and then flip it around and stitch in the other direction. You may need to make a little pleat at the indent on the bum pad. If your trim wasn't quite long enough, go ahead and fold the seam allowance to the back and stitch along the top. This will make it look nice. Fold the top of the bum pad to the inside and stitch along at about 5 8 inch. This is what it looks like when the edge is completely finished. 
I'm going to make a cord out of scraps of pillowcase. Stitch the top shut, making sure you leave enough space that you can stuff stuffing into the side, and sew the tie on while you're at it. Mark where the snap should be, and add whatever kind you prefer. Now that our bum pad is done, the next thing we need to do is stuff it. I have an assortment of found stuffing. For my zipper stuffing, I'm going to cut it in small pieces so that I can fit it into the small spaces. I want to have a stick to be able to push the stuffing into the tiny parts. One of the hints for stuffing anything is to do the small tiny parts first. That's because once you have the main body full of stuffing, you're not able to get the stuffing down into those tiny parts like ears or tails or in this case the corners of where the stay stitching is and the upper corner at the top of the side of the bum pad. You can see I kind of push it down there with my fingers and pack it into those spaces. I'm going to open up the top and I'm going to push it down into the main body and again stick it down into those corners. I like to tear off small pieces and here I'm going to push it through the channel up at the top and stick it into the corner again. Once I have all those corners nicely packed full, I can tamp it in if I want to. And then I can take the bulk of my stuffing and I can just wad it up and put it in the main pouch. Uh, you can use all kinds of things for stuffing. You can use blankets, you could use petticoat net, you could use tool, you could use towels, you could use um, old pillows, basically whatever you want to use. Here I'm going to snap it up and I have my bone pad pretty much done. What we found out when we did um, Cinderella is that initially your bum pad you fill it up and you think no way this is way too big this looks really silly and as time goes on you'll want it to be fuller you'll also find that the stuffing compresses with wearing and with the weight of the dresses this is the bum pad that Charlotte wore and it fits around her body nicely you can see that fits around her hips here are a few pictures of bum pads in use I hope this tutorial helps you make your 1, 5, or 50 bum pads. Happy costuming! More information can be found at www.costumecraze.me.